Dije tarado. Bienvenidos, welcome to el 18. Muchacho, ahora no volvimos a ilusionar. We are back, everybody. El 18. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. We got to give him a quick disclaimer what this is. Yes, explain. Okay. So if you are not uh, Argentinian or you don't appreciate the obnoxiousness that we bring to this equation, yeah. I would advise for you to skip to after the minute 18 because the next, <laughs> the following 18 uh -huh. minutes of this hybrid episode are going to be, be annoying as hell. Our bonus 18 muchachos episode. That we do every 18th yeah. of the month. And we had to do it this time around because we're going to be out of town this, no, this no, weekend. Because so. today is the 18th. We, we release our episodes on Mondays. On Mondays. And this Monday, today, is the 18th. Be, yes. So you get two for one. <clears throat> That's right. So A hybrid episode. I like that. Hybrid. You can, you can skip. You can skip to... Skip to minute 18 unless uh, you want to watch us talk a bunch of stuff about Argentina. We have no script. We this time I don't have an outline. This is for the this is for another episode. Yeah, we don't have no I'm script. Freaking out, bro. We don't um we, we don't uh, have any plans. Everything <clears throat> that's gonna happen here is Off gonna the be cuff. us reminiscing. <coughs> reminiscing, I'm choking. <laughs> what happened nine months ago. Nine months. It's today nine is months. the nine month anniversary. You know what? The gestation period is over. Yes. Of I the now, three stars. I can, three now, three stars. I can now say that I understand what women go through in pregnancy <laughs> when you are developing the you're gift an idiot. of when, when you just lost like the five women that were following us are gone when you're developing <laughs> the gift of life maria's gonna cut us too i i imagine oh my i gosh. imagine these nine months full of happiness that's what now, we fe felt now and we now, understand now it's time to let it all out. now we can sympathize with let the plight of all women out. all over the place <laughs> <laughs> Welcome once again to the 18 El 18, our episode commemorating Argentina. That's why the that's why the that's the, why you have the flags up and everything. Flags We, everywhere. I'm wearing a 98 France 98 um, Argentina jersey. Look at you, man. <clears throat> Isn't that cool? That is really cool. <laughs> no stars. We lost. We lost. We got we got destroyed. It wasn't yeah. bad. It wasn't good. I in fact I don't even I put that World Cup out of my out of my head. I removed really? it. Yeah, that was bad. Well, I've put all the the all the ones we lost 36 years out of our heads. Yeah, 36 years, man. Nine months ago, today, the 18th, we cried. We cried. Oh my That's gosh! So that, so <laughs> that is so loud. What's happening? That is so loud. I don't know why it's so loud. We cried in uh, nine months ago. We cried over Argentina. We reminisced. We. I know what it is. You got the volumes? You yeah. good? Yeah, that was it. It's our <clears throat> We, uh, yeah. Oh, man, that was loud. We enjoyed. We it was the panicked. We ran through the streets with the flags. We drove around. And that's why we do this episode. It's, for, it's commemorating Argentina's win and remembering what it feels like to win a World Cup <sighs> in our, in our, in our, in our day and age. Dos, tres. tres. Tres estrelas. Tres estrelas. Not, not, not penta campeón. Not penta campeón. Só tres. Pouquinho. Só tres. Pouquinho, pouquinho. Só tres. Pouquinho, pouquinho. Só <laughs> tres. Só tres. tres. I wish we had more, but we don't. We only have three. Tranquilo, tranquilo. A ver qué pasa, a ver qué pasa. Lucha. <laughs> All right, so, like we said, we don't have an outline. No. But we have some footage. We have some footage. Maria, we just gave Maria a bunch of footage. Yeah. And we're just gonna. She's just gonna put stuff on, and we're gonna react to it because that day, <laughs> that day was uh, quite the day. Maria, just put something at what? Okay, get it. Oh, yes, what is this? But Eric okay. To me the damn okay, that's time. Okay, can you pause it for a second, Maria? Pause, pause it. Right there, pause it. Is it a possibility? No, no pause. Oh, you can't. Okay, no, it's no, fine. Mari. That, so that's my office. R what happened? What happened that day? happened that day is that mm. we were in the middle of the yes, game. But well, Eric the game was about to start, and we did not have the cup. Uh, in, in the house, and we were gonna watch the game, you and me. That's right. And we called to Mandy that, bless her heart, she was like about in and about town. Was it a, was it a Sunday? Yeah. It was a Sunday. Yeah. She yes. was in, like around town. She's like, oh, Tanya, can you please do me a favor? Please, please. This is important. You made that poor woman. This is the most important day of our lives. Come to the office. Because <laughs> we didn't have the World, we didn't have the World Cup with us. Yeah. It, That's then a we big told, deal. We told her it's important that when you bring the World Cup, yes, you have to 
leave it outside the house. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Because we brought it inside the house for the Holland game, and they tied. It was because we was watched bad luck. the game together, the yes. Holland game. When we brought, the, <laughs> we were doing just fine. When the cup arrived at the house, because we also forgot it. <laughs> what is wrong with us, man? That when we brought it into the house, we're very we forgetful. Tied. So now the yeah. second time, we're like, leave it outside. So Tanya did it. So Tanya. Tanya, we Thank love you. you. Thank you. She came to pick up. Yeah, it was beautiful. She came in. So in the camera. So we, great. We were just giving Maria, her. by the way, our, our producer for today is Maria. Please do us a favor. Uh, we have to make sure we finish at 18 minutes. And this SD card is full. So I can't see. Oh. I can't see how many. How many minutes has it been? How many minutes? Tanya, you. you uh, it's been uh, five minutes. Maria, you have to. Okay, tell Maria. Us. In 13 minutes, you have to tell us. Okay, so okay? next video, next video, next video, <coughs> next, next video, video, next video. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> what, is this? what is this? Oh, this, this is, is downtown Orlando. Orlando. Yeah, this, we were we were out downtown. Like you said before, I, I got beer in my hair. Yeah, whatever. I don't like that. This was not planned. Not Everybody just showed up there. That was, was great. great. It was incredible. It was beautiful. It's the great. drive over there was amazing. We showed, we showed that the first episode of Desi Ocho. Yeah. We showed when we you had your Volkswagen Cabriolet with all the... Oh, all yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. That was fun. That was let's, fun. Do, let's do another one, Mario. Let's see what <laughs> else we got. <clears throat> what do we got? Oh, this is this picture. <sighs> oh, there you go. I got... we. So your parents... My parents were In the there. back. Yeah. And then my wife... My supportive, my amazing, beautiful, awesome woman that is my wife supporting me through this month of mayhem because I was insupportable. I was unbearable for the Can entire I month of December. Yeah. I was unbearable when Argentina lost to Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. I was unbearable when we played against Mexico and Poland. When we, um, when we, I was unbearable every second of the day. Yeah. And I was hopped up on mate all day we, long. We thrived in mate and dulce, <coughs> dulce de leche and That's mate it. for the whole month. That the whole month. Yeah. So my wife, she was there. And then who else was there? And then was my wife, too, and my two kids were there. Um, Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Holding or, the cup. Uh, the baby, I don't see the baby. Maybe the baby was behind the... I think, no, it's, it's right behind uh, Emma. Emma yeah. yeah. Yeah, we don't know where we put the baby sometimes. I'm just kidding. Wow. Um... I don't think that's that you. was great. I think you should cut that out. No, it's fine. You gonna keep it? Yeah. Wow. Parenting one on one. Great. Parents will know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I bet. What else? What else do we got, Maria? Do we have anything else there that we can show, that we can see? Oh my oh, goodness. Okay. Can you. I describe this for a second? Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Um, this was when when <laughs> France scored <laughs> the goal that tied us. I, I don't know. Is you? It was two two. And then it was it was. It was one of the goals that Fran scored, and I said, Lord, I need you to hear my prayer. <laughs> and I got on my knees, <laughs> <laughs> and I prayed. Like I did in 1994 that my sister Car Carolina saw me praying. I prayed again, and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Amen, <laughs> brother. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, um, keep going, Maria. Keep, one more, keep, one more. One more. Go ahead. <clears throat> Oh, this whole video, we have to watch this whole video. Please. How much time do we have, Maria? Ten, ten minutes? We have five minutes? We have five minutes before we finish? We have five minutes? So this, this is... Uh, we were watching, this one we were watching, Eric and I were holding our hands. We were like, this is dramatic. My heart almost was at the last thing. That was the last no, that's, what, that's what the last That was when we won. That was the last penalty right there. You were confused about the, which penalty was, and I was confused. Too. You were, and I was too. Look, man, she brought the cup inside because we, we now we can bring it inside. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. We're holding the cup. No, Oscar. Oh, oh. Oscar. I cried like a child. Keep the video going because you're going to see me. In this video, I actually, I sit down and uh, I feel a knot in my throat. Mm -hmm. And I just burst into tears. I burst into tears. It wasn't Nutella leche. leche. It wasn't Nutella I just burst into tears. It's such a beautiful experience. And I know that I don't want to just... I'm just here waiting for this. 
But Campeones del mundo! Oh, man. I, I, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to guys for it to any of them. Every Never. 18. Every 18. <laughs> it's going to be... If you, if you need to skip to, moment, to 18th minute, please do so. But here, here I am sitting if, if down. You're, if you're Look at this. I'm sitting down. If you're still with us. <clears> time, I think. <throat> and, then I, and then it hit me. I think that's when it hit me. And I'm just like... Yeah. I no idea what's happening. Your, your, your son's beautiful. Your son, beautiful. Your son beautiful. lived the World Cup. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. What do you think? What do you say randomly? I just call. Do you think we have time? How much time do we have, Maria? ¿Qué tenemos? Eight minutes? We have eight minutes. What if I call the first Argentinian I have on my phone? Just do it. And I'll, and I'll try to translate. Alexis is with an A right there. Do they speak English? No? No, but you're going to Okay. Oh, here, here we go. Here. Okay. Let's see if somebody. Put the. F yeah. Can you hear it? I can hear it. Let's see. Hola. Alexis. ¿Qué haces, Bien, y vos, querido, ¿cómo andás? I'm not translating that. Che, tenés, tenés tres minutos de tu vida que nos regales para hablarnos. Do you have three minutes to give, give to us, to talk to us? Sí, sí. Mira, yes, yes. Te, te estoy, estamos grabando el podcast y tenemos una sección. We're recording a podcast and we have a section. Um, y, y hablamos solo de Argentina. We talk de lo only que about se, Argentina. Lo que se sintió ganar What el it mundial. Felt like to win the World Cup. Así que así random así. So randomly. Per perdóname que te llame así. I'm so sorry to call you like this. ¿Dónde estabas cuando ganamos? Where were you when we won? ¿Qué sentiste? <coughs> What did you feel? Y contanos así en dos minutos un poco. Pero dale chance for two minutes, que, just tell us real quick. Con, what dale happened. chance que Seba te está traduciendo. But give Sebastian translator. Go ahead. Dale, perfecto. Bueno, estaba en la casa de un amigo mío, Gabriel. I was in my friend Gabriel's house. Todos los partidos en el mismo lugar. All the games in the Sentados, same place. We're all eh, sitting. Todo exactamente igual que en todos los partidos. We were sitting in the exact same spot as in every game. Siempre. Always in the same place, <clears throat> in the same exact position. <laughs> Something I'll never forget. The same shirts. Cábala siempre, ¿no? Siempre cábala. Yeah, always doing the rituals. Yeah. Every game was incredible. Es algo que nunca más me olvido en mi vida. It's something I'll never forget. Okay, for hablame, hablame, decime. So talk to me a little bit about sentimientos. About your feeling. Montiel mete el penal. Montiel scores the penalty shot. ¿Qué pasa por tu mente? Yeah. What goes through your mind? <coughs> I cried. Y al piso me arrodillé y lloré. I I got on my knees on the floor and started crying. Con el teléfono que estaba en la universidad had... en Alabama. I, w I had my son from Al uh, the, that's in, in college in Alabama and I called him at that moment we were watching the game together lots of nerves lots of tension of course a very complicated moment Viste, gracias, gracias, Thank you. gracias, Alex. Es amor, <coughs> amor, love, eh, tensión, tension, llorar, crying, familia, on your needs, fami family, llorando, o sea, era, amigos, amigos, friends, it's beautiful. Dale, gracias, Alexis, che, gracias por compartir. Loco. Thank you, Alexis, for for sharing with us. Gracias a Un abrazo, después te llamo con calma. Dale, un abrazo grande. Take care. That was cool. I said thank oh, you for so compartir. Sh <laughs> should we call somebody every time? Like <laughs> I think we up? should. A random Argentinian. Why? How much time? Maria, how much time we have? Five we minutes. Have five minutes. We can watch, five minutes. We can watch the chef video. Okay, put the chef video. Well, okay. I'm so hold nervous. On, hold on. We don't have so, a timer. That's okay. We're oh gonna gosh. watch. We're gonna watch <clears> it here. She doesn't have it over there. Okay, put it. Uh, La troisième étoile n'est pas pour tout le monde. Il faut un chef qui domine la technique. Tu as besoin d'un assistant de cuisine capable de supporter la pression maximum. Un menu avec beaucoup de personnalité qui, par moment, te donnerait envie de le manger cru. Un couteau bien aiguisé, un plat gagnant, un bijou. Il faut mettre de l'œuf, un peu de piment rouge piquant, et l'arôme intense du romarin, tout en julienne, et le feu au maximum, jusqu'à ça colle aux parois, bien croquant, on chauffe bien, on remue, et on retourne encore et encore. Et tu sais comment on finit par le cuire 
au bain marie C'est écrit sur la carte, l'amour en cuisine n'aura jamais. Tu le sors, toujours avec un gant à portée de main, au cas les pommes de terre brûlent. Hein, ouais. Et quand tu vois que c'est bien cuit au four, tu lui donnes la petite touche finale. Parce qu'il a ce qu'aucun d'autre n'a au monde. L'ingrédient secret. Celui qui rend les gens fous. Et on entend « Merci, merci ». Et les gens veulent une autre tournée. C'est magique. Le goût de la troisième étoile est inégalable. Et pour porter un toast à ces six mois, la meilleure coupe du monde est le football champagne. Try to translate that if you are we're gonna, I'll not put subtitles on if it. you're not Argentina and you stick all the way here, you, you win. Should, yeah, yeah. You win a Thank prize, you. a shirt, Thank something. You. Oh, that was beautiful. Wow, oh, man. That that I think, had not seen that video until today. I think so these, we recorded the episode. These 18, this 18 episodes. <clears throat> They're life giving. I mean, it's like my favorite part of it. See, si, loco, I, that buenísimo. I love it, and I love calling Argentinians randomly. And I and I love to drink from this mate that I only drink on the 18. <laughs> Be careful with the chemicals on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have anything else? I think we're done. I Maria, think we're done. Are we, what are we doing? What's on our, time? What are we doing on time? One we minute. One left? minute. One mm. minute. One minute. And then we're gonna go into the regular. <clears throat> episode. We're gonna go, this is this is a hybrid episode, so we're gonna go into regular episode, and we're gonna do some magic when we switch to the regular episode. Really? It's gonna be fantastic. What's what's gonna happen? We're gonna do we're gonna do like I Dream of Genie. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. See, and we're gonna change. It's, it's gonna be incredible. <laughs> the miracle that, of Final Cut, you guys. The There miracle of video editing in the 21st century. Oh my goodness! Ah. I can't. Ah. If you are not Argentinian and you enjoyed this and you got this far, uh, amazing. You, you win a medal, and please send us your comments, whatever. If you did not, it's okay. We forgive you. If for you're skipping. not from Argentina and you want to tell us <laughs> a little bit. We'll call you on next, the next we'll call episode. You. We'll call you, even yeah. if you're an Argentinian. Yeah, if you want 100%. us to, to, uh, to know. So kudos to you. Kudos to you. And to you goes this song. Muchachos, ahora no volvimos. Hey, ready, 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 right. ready, ready? Okay, sorry. Uno, un, dos, tres. Okay. Ready? Uno, Uno dos, tres. Wow. Bienvenidos. Qué grande. Welcome, everybody, to episode eight. Cambió todo. Cambió todo. Everything's así, changed, bro. We did todo magic. Así, como un, como en el, it's called magic. It's called magic. It's called magic, my friend. Oh, it's called soccer. Welcome, everybody, to episode eight of Soccer is Football. Ocho. Episode ocho. And uh, if you stuck the, if you, if you watched the first 18 minutes of this episode, It was the 18, the 18th episode that we do every month on the 18th to celebrate Argentina's uh, winning of the World Cup. If you watch that, you get a medal, you win an award, we'll figure out your address and get a t-shirt and, to you, something. Yeah, and if you, uh, and if you didn't watch it... Shame it, on you. It's to no, it's totally fine. It's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah, you, How you, dare you not <laughs> watch our culture? No, 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 no. It's, we, we totally get it. We, we understand that we can be annoying, but we can't help ourselves. Like you said in the episode 18, I will not apologize and will I love that. I will, will not. Not, it, not apologize. I will not stop. You will not stop. Till 2026. Stop. Till 2026. Even then, if we even if we get eliminated and we suck and it's over, oh, I'm yeah. still going to keep going. I'm going to keep going, time. but maybe not every 18. <laughs> maybe not every... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Today's episode uh, is going to be a little shorter since we have, you know, you saw the first 18 minutes, but the the title that you gave me was amazing. Yeah. You want to share it? Well, the, the title is called Playing in Casa. And I think that's, under, people can understand that. Yeah. Right? Mi casa, su casa. Yeah. 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 So, and, and the, the inspiration for it came from, um, from the game Argentina played in, um, in Bolivia. Bolivia, yeah. Because we were, we were like, geez, you know, we were concerned. 
all my life I grew up hearing about who you know playing the altitude elevation, elevation and right. like so we were we were like you know it's beginning of qualifiers it's gonna be fine yeah we, but were, we didn't want to lose and we were like okay what's gonna happen um you know and um, it's always been a struggle for argentina and other teams that play in la paz bolivia so we we started talking about it. it's like yeah we should bring it to the <clears> to the to the show because yeah you know what does it mean when you have that home field advantage yeah um, what does it really mean? Uh, does it affect? Does it, you know, does so it make anyways, a difference, right? That's, of course. that's why the episode, it's, it's what it is. So playing in casa, uh, playing at home, what does it mean? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, so I guess the question to start off with, is it, is it a myth or is it real? Well, the, the research we did. You know, it, it there's was, a bunch of research. You it did was, a bunch of research. there's a lot of research. <clears throat> tons, tons of studies. I, one, before we get to that. Okay. No, but w go ahead. Well, I was going to say yes. that one thing I love about soccer in, mm. the, in the United States, uh -huh. it doesn't happen anywhere else. Mm. I can say this without a shadow of a doubt. Mm. The stats. Oh, my gosh. Stat and kings and queens. And the way they break down. Like, Everything. I've heard common. Like, I don't know. Also, I would love to win Balboa when we interview him. I want to learn. How do they come up with these stats yeah, in the middle of the game? So many. It's like they're like, oh, Messi just touched it for the 37th, 37th and a half time. Is the, is the 37th time he touches the ball for a three second period during the 22nd minute of the game? It's like, crazy. What? It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, how do you know the amount this of stuff? stats that, you, that Americans produce per game on any sport? Yes. Is it any sport? Because I, I, I learned it in other sports. Right. Heard. We, we never heard. Insane. Like, the stats we knew were how many World Cups you won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, how many goals did they score? Boom, that's it. But they're like, yeah, he scored 43% of the of field retention of whatever passes, whatever so assists. So it's incredible the amount of information, um, information we found. Which is super cool. The, the studies that were done yeah. on home field advantage. I did not think we were going to find all that. It's fantastic. About soccer, specifically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which yeah, is yeah, incredible. Yeah. Absolutely. So before we get to that... Yeah. Some really cool games happened. Uh, obviously, we're recording this this episode um, earlier in the week uh, for the following Monday. But there's 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 a lot of games that are going to happen on on Saturday for Match Day 32 for MLS. But we we'd be remiss if we talk if we don't talk about the games that happened in uh, Comebol for the World Cup qualifiers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brazil won, uh, Peru zero, and I. I as a little piece of information, I also included the cities where they played for the home field advantage theme. You know, yeah. I mean? so they played Bra Brazil uh, beat Peru one to zero in Lima, Peru. Which you know, okay, all right. Well, <laughs> I, I get is, it. Isn't Lima, Peru also? There's, there's elevation. Yeah, there's elevation for sure. Um, a huge one, which really supports the the. Yeah, it's elevation? a it's a 500 feet. <laughs> Just kidding. So it's like playing in Miami, basically. <laughs> playing in Orlando. Um, a huge win for the Vino Tinto. Vino Tinto. Yeah, Maria. Venezuela. Venezuela. Coño, carrechera, vale. Qué lindo, vale. Chamo. Coño, chamo. Bichate esto. Eh, Venezuela beat Paraguay one to nothing. One That's to nothing. That's crazy. And they, where did they play? They played Estadio Maturín in Venezuela. So they played. A, so they had a home field advantage. Yeah. It's a big deal. Uh, you want to hear another home field advantage? Yes. Ecuador beat Uruguay. This is. Insane. Ecuador le ganó a Uruguay. Beat Uruguay 2-1. to one, And they played in Quito. Come on. Study smutty. All we need is the games and the score. Ecuador lost to... Didn't they lose to Qatar? I think they lost to Qatar in the first game. The in the World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, well, it's Qatar. not like Ecuador... I mean, I don't want to <laughs> throw dirt, but they're... Yeah, I mean, I mean, they were playing in Quito, and they got so yeah. Home field and, advantage, and baby. then you have these friendlies that are happening now. These friendlies are fantastic. USA played uh, against Oman. I think Oman and Uzbekistan are doing a, are doing oh, a tour, US. like a, a U.S. tour, and they destroy for nothing. Amazing destruction, destruction, I annihilation. Mean, this go is, USA. This I is, love it. This is great for the U.S. team <clears throat> to getting these new kids to getting this. Yes. You know, the, the, the team playing together. I mean, I mean, I know it's Oman. It's a small it, a soccer nation. But then this next one, this next one's crazy. Because last week, United States played, played against Uzbekistan and they beat them 3-0. Yeah. This week, Mexico played 
against Uzbekistan in Atlanta, which to me is home field. Yes. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be. And they tied Uzbekistan 3-3. Three to Because, three. let me ask you, did your, did your buddy Assad go to the game? What game? The uh, the Uzbekistan and Mexico he did he go? go? No. Yeah, he. Your buddy Assad is probably the only Uzbekistani in the U.S. Literally. <laughs> so I that mean, was got to be him and his family. Was, that was it. a home. <clears throat> that was a home game. Going. And Atlanta bro is full of Mexicans. Yeah. It's gotta be. What's and happening they tied with three, Latri? Three. What's happening with Latri? La, el, el tri está mal. I don't know what's going on. Mexico, get your crap together. What's going we, on? We need to hear the Mexicans. We need. To we get need some Mexicans to comment on this because come on, you guys. What's going on? It was hard to beat you in the World Cup. Yeah. Well, I heard. It's I a big heard. Deal, man. I, I was looking at thing. Pasa no manches, Mexico no manches. Yeah. yeah. Pues yeah. Orale, Mexico. The art. There, there were some um, interviews that were saying that one of the toughest games for Argentina in the World Cup was was Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, and and I don't know what's going on. No, but but <clears> the, <throat> but the Mexicans were not happy with Mexico's performance in the in the World Cup. Right. So. Right. Just saying. I don't know. Just There's, saying. I don't get it. 3-3, three, three, Uzbekistan, Mexico. Vamos, por favor. Come on. Yeah. All right. So, our main topic. Playing in casa. The home field advantage. Now, Eric, do me a favor. Define what it means to have a home field advantage for me. Well, the, the, we got to look at, I mean, we're, we're, let's just, just with disclaimer, we are not experts. We don't know what we're talking about. Right? But we love the sport. <clears throat> Right, and but we have a logo. We have a logo, and, and we have logo T-shirts. Yeah, and so we, we know a, something. And we've we've done eight episodes. We've of done our eight episodes, bro. That, that counts for this something. Is, this is happening, bro. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Kalinda, don't get Sorry, go ahead. You were saying? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I was saying now. <laughs> I'm well, so happy. Well, the 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 the, the reason it relates is because growing up too, like when I when River played. Like I would hate, I would hate mm -hmm. for them to lose in Boca, but mm -hmm. it was expected. Yeah. If, if right. we lose, if River loses in Boca in your in your stadium, it sucks. Yeah. But they're playing in Boca. You're playing in Boca. Yeah. And uh, and we would never want to lose to Boca in our stadium. Right. It, it hurts more. It's too much. So there is something that affects. Like there's a, and and Di Maria, I think logically, physically, I mean, Di, Di Maria was just saying we saw an article. He said the whole altitude thing. It's all in. It's all in your head. Which I don't know because I lived in Salt Lake. He said it was is, psychological. I lived in Salt Lake, <clears throat> which is about five thousand feet, and then you go for a run and you can't. You know, like it's serious. It's well, not psychological, but but the whole the the whole home field advantage, like. The 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 um, the uh, psychological aspect, the physical aspect. Do the players get fatigue when they travel long distances? I mean, distances? when Argentina was traveling to when when they were traveling to uh, La Paz, I saw pictures in in Diario Le of them carrying these like portable oxygen tanks and just going like in the bus. So they were dying when the, when the team travels for six eight hours and then you have it's eleven thousand feet. Then you're jet lagged. When you don't have your, <coughs> when you can't do your rituals, because once right. once you're a, a, a once you're a player in your home stadium, there's you, you do the same walk, you go to the same locker yeah. room, you say hi to the same people. You're used to you, the field. You have your, you, you're used to the field. Your your family's there. Yeah, like the whole thing changes. Like driving to work. Yeah, versus going to a conference somewhere and being in a strange hotel or whatever. Absolutely, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. great. That's a great. So, so speaking of what you said about Di Maria, yeah, we honestly, like you said in the beginning of the episode, we were worried that Argentina would suffer against Bolivia in La Paz in this eleven thousand feet. So we recorded a video <laughs> <laughs> of us cheering for Argentina in yeah, La Paz, Bolivia. Maria, please put that video up. Argentina, vamos, vamos a ganar. Que esta barra espera. Vamos, vamos. Argentina, vamos a ganar. Esta barra quilombera no te deja, no te. Vamos, vamos, 
So we, we posted that video because we were like, Esta va a ser un partido complicado. It's going to be a complicated game. I don't know. Are we going to be able to whatever? But we watched the game and we... I mean, yeah. And then one thing... So I something, Fantastic. Something that... Um, <coughs> to start diving into these stats thing. Yes. Uh -huh. um, as we were looking, this, this caught my eye. And it says that soccer has the largest average home advantage across all leagues and sports. Oh wow! There was is a that, study is done that globally, or just yes, the globally. Well, okay. well, the the study <clears throat> was done over nine thousand games and across wow. international. Okay, and it talks about it, it affects sixty percent winning rates in Asia and Africa, and so sixty percent of the times you win when you're at home. Sixty percent of the time it works. Every, every time, time. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, anchor but, quote. But but and uh, but it says specifically the U.S. It's where it affects the most, where you see numbers like sixty nine point one percent. I wonder why that is, man. So in the U.S., playing at home affects more than yeah. any other country. Yeah, which is for me super intriguing. Super, because in my mind I would have said, nah, you know. Argentina, South America, <laughs> the way that the, the way that the crowd is over there yeah. will fuel. Well, no, apparently it goes beyond just the crowd, just the. Uh, Didn't but, you mention though that Argentina won? Did they win the fan? Oh, yeah. Oh, so for Qatar, Argent the Argentina fans won the. Uh, it's called the fan award. For the for the world in FIFA Cup. in FIFA fi wow. FIFA fan so we're the best league. Elicampio, 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 Elicampio. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, I, we apologize. We 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 should have done that in the first. So part it, of the it, it it trumps it trumps uh, basketball, hockey, baseball, football. That's crazy. Which is crazy. Uh, <clears throat> it says that. Uh, there's other sports that home field advantage doesn't seem to matter. Yeah. But in soccer, it's like a huge deal. And That's now crazy. we we're talking about how in the U.S. the stadiums are. Me we've been to several stadiums yes. now, and we need to dive into this. But the way they built it, the supporter sections looks pretty similar. Yeah. In in every stadium. <laughs> in every stadium. And when we went to see the final, it was interesting to see the huge supporter section in Nashville. And then they put the the uh yes. the Miami supporter section all nosebleeds. They were in the nosebleeds section. I remember and, that. You know, so I mean and, and the and, and the supporter section and every stadium we've been to, we've been to Exploria Stadium, we've been to the Geodas Park, whatever, and you've seen it on the highlights. So we've whatever. been to two. So two. <laughs> But no, but I've been to the Real. I've but been to, we've uh, been to Camping World Stadium, which is not a soccer specific stadium, and they don't have the same kind of supporter section yes. with the yeah, steel yeah, yeah, bars yeah. and the steps that they have in Exploria Stadium. And we saw that exact same thing in uh, Geodas Park in, in Nashville. And we saw that we see that when we watch MLS games every week, we see the same the bar like this, and they have supporter sections, and it's all the, any uh, the opposing team or the visiting team nosebleeds. Always. Do you, you want to know which <clears throat> team currently in the MLS it has the highest impact or has the highest the home field advantage impact? Yeah, you have we, that we, on so there. We can see it by season, man. We can. You see have what is this website, so, dude? So the current season. You gotta post the web. What's the website? The, the, it's called Footy Stats. Footy Stats. Footy F O O T Y. Yeah, Footy Stats dot com dot org dot org. All right, go check out Footy Stats dot org. So, everybody. so in this site, you can see all <laughs> sorts of crazy stats. I'm excited. But like this. the the team that will win the most at home mm. in the season, like uh, year to date. <laughs> all right, Se season to date um, is Montreal. Montreal. Really, it's at uh, points per game. It's two point eight versus 0. .57. So the Canadians really enjoy their home field advantage. Huh? Yeah, I mean, and think about it. They gotta, they gotta Why? travel far. Well, I mean, is it distance? Is it uh, weather? Weather? Yeah. I mean, the second one is Houston, which is not far off. Two point two three, point seven one, meaning that what what this means? I is mean, that it's hot as hell in Houston. They're more likely to win at, <clears> win at <throat> home than on the road. By a, by a lot. Yes, but it's, it's incredibly warm in Houston. I wonder if there because MLS season is happening now. Like it, the the thing evens out in to the, the point uh, to where um where's where's <laughs> Orlando City at? There, there's there's well 
Look, look up Orlando City for they're, a second. They're, they're in um, in the, in an in order. They are there's 29 teams and they're number 28. But it's, so okay, uh, define it for me. So the so number 28 in in the amount of because uh, home it's not, to the advantage that they will enjoy. Yeah, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, because <clears throat> Orlando City will want will win 1.69. At home, home one point seven nine away. So that means they're a very consistent team, regardless of yeah, the, where they're they playing. Could, they could win. It's like almost. So a it's not just the fans. It's then. almost a fifty-fifty. It's almost a mentality that the team has to have. Well, when playing somewhere. Is it just the mentality? Because what you're reading there is indicating that how much that stat indicates how much is the team affected by the fact that they're at home or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me that Orlando plays the same way. Whether they're playing in Montreal they have or a, an Explorer Stadium, they have a seven, which is great. They have a seven percent plus seven percent more chance of winning at home, so it's nothing. It's minute. Yeah, yeah, point seven percent. That's nothing. Which is which is crazy. You Those know, stats are it, nuts, huh? There are people that do this, that take these kind of stats down, and they. Oh yeah. How do you do, how do you quantify all that, man? I mean, it's a lot of work. I thought this podcast was a lot of work. That's a lot of work. There's, well, there's that's some serious junk right there. I'm sure Mr. Algo, Mr. Algo, Mr. Algo is, helps. <laughs> Mr. Helps Algo, a lot. Algorithm. Um, I'll tell you next time. But I wrote a reggae song called Algorithm. Bum bum. Sorry. That's beautiful. I'll do what I can, bro. Do what I can. Do what I have. <laughs> <clears throat> well, yeah. Well, how do? You, well, what you were saying that almost doesn't matter. How do you? The question is, how do you mitigate it? Yeah. So how do you, how do you, how do you go play somewhere else and be home and pretend like you're home? Because Bring your sofa and your fa yeah. favorite television and your food and your mate and your family. Yeah. How do you do that? You can't bring your family most. Right. Of I think part of part of why Messi <clears throat> is in the U.S. Mm -hmm. is because they gave his family more access to the games and him. It's and super cool. How, and the, ki the his kids play in the field. Yeah. Like yeah. if it was a playground. By the way, <laughs> just a Super just cool. a quick note yeah. on that. Uh-huh. When when the Nashville game, when they won, when when Miami won at Nashville, everybody went away and on the field there was just like players and waiting for uh -huh. his kids and some other players' kids, they were all playing in the field yeah. without a ball. They were kicking a little it was, trash. Like a piece of trash, right? Like a piece of like trash. A cup. They had a game. They had a game going on. <laughs> a piece of trash. With they were just slide tackles it, and everything, kicking each other, and the whole and, nine yards. It was and so they were cool. just so. F they were they, they were, were so happy about yeah. it. And then I saw Mr. Bodyguard. You know the oh, famous yeah, yeah, messy bodyguard. bodyguard yeah, yeah, yeah. Who we see him very serious and going yeah, after yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen like drama about it. Yeah. He was lifting the kids up and playing with I them, that. and they were That's happy. So, cool, man. so it's not everything like like you see. <laughs> Anyways, close parentheses. So this is for the bodyguard. We appreciate what you're doing. Thank, Thank you. Gracias por cuidar a Leo, loco. Gracias por cuidar a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you okay back to that? How do yes. you mitigate it? One thing question. And I and I'm gonna after this, I'll be done talking about Messi. Okay. okay. But one thing that for you, now. For now. For for this episode. For this episode. For the next five <laughs> the next hours. For this hour. <laughs> one thing that you uh -huh. can do, and I think Messi did it, and I honestly I'll tell you this, I did not I I knew he had it in him, but he hadn't been showing it in the past years where It's all about leadership. You know, how do, he's not a leader. Remember when we were losing, yeah. losing, losing? Yes. And everybody was like, oh, Pecho Frio. He's not, he doesn't have it in Def him. Wait, before you keep going, define Pecho Frio. I'm going to translate it real quick. It's cold it's, chest. Cold chest, like which your, means heart, loser. your heart is not. You're heartless. Anything. You're heartless. You're a loser. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pecho Frio, they would call him <clears> that because <throat> Maradona was the opposite. He was like all involved and, you know, yeah. uh, 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 he would uh, carry uh, the uh, team. Uh, and they were saying that Messi wasn't. But I think he's proved otherwise oh, in the last dude. couple of years. But, but what, what he just did this weekend, okay? And I don't know if a lot of people know this because this made uh, national news only Huge over there. Deal. So he, they decided he was not going to play in Bolivia. He's tired. Okay? He was like, you're not going to play. We're going to save him. You know, we're not want to risk injuries or anything. So, hey, you're good. You're not going to play. Mm -hmm. So instead of him coming back home, because he could have. If you're not playing, you're not. he, wasn't, he didn't even warm up. <coughs> he could have just... Stay Was he there? He, he just, was there, he, right? He was just he, he was just he would just go home, but he decided to go to the game, sit in the bench. That's incredible, dude! And 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 cheer for his first teammates, be in the practices, awesome. and and miss his son's Mateo's birthday. 
that was this weekend. He didn't go to his son's birthday, crazy. and everybody in the team knew that. Because if you see Antonella's post, I mean, I don't follow. I didn't. Him. I didn't see I, that. I don't follow Antonella. You follow Antonella. I don't follow Antonella. Yeah. I'm married. Antonella, your husband is beautiful. <laughs> He's too beautiful. <laughs> hey, Antonella, if your husband needs any help. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, did, did you mentioned something about the poll. Yeah, so the poll, he was the one that brought it up. He That's was, awesome. He's in the press re, press conference. He was like, he could have so, gone, but but the fact that he stayed helped us. Like, it, it empowered us as a team. So, and one way to mitigate, back to the topic. Oh, I, I think I saw a picture of him and his, like sitting, like like cheering, yeah, and standing up for the yeah. himno y todo eso. Yeah, yeah. So one way to mitigate is <clears throat> leadership within the team. Now, yeah. who are we to say that? The one thing that we can control, like we can't control the team, right? Or we can't help with the team mm -hmm. and the leadership, mm -hmm. but the fans. Yeah. I mean. We're the ones that we can control that. Yeah. Do, if you're getting into soccer, okay, this is new for you. There's noise out there. You're checking out the sport. You don't get it. Yeah, you kind of. Fans away. are a, cru I will not, a crucial. Like Crucial. I will not. Uh, th there was some study saying that fans are not. No. <coughs> no, no, fans no. 100 million percent. 100 million percent. Matter. Without fans, you got nothing. You got nothing. You, and I wish one day we'll have players when we got my boy, we'll ask. But the, 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 in, in soccer specifically. We have to call them. Yeah, yeah. He, fans are, are just the fuel. That's, the that's, that's my fuel. two cents. So, fans are the fuel, 100%. And you're talking about leadership and present, leadership presence. I, I feel like Messi. I think he's learning the effects of his leadership by playing Inter Miami with a team that is playing collectively better because of his presence, period. Yeah. Whether he's touching the ball or not. Yeah. So yeah. that's awesome, man. Um, tell us what you guys think about home field advantage. Is it real? Is it a myth? Is it, is it something that's happening? We'd love to hear from all of you. I'm and sure that you guys have been to games and cheered for teams and seen teams get better based on the fan interaction and everything and 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 this is this is what I want to urge or invite everybody what we're all about we're all about soccer and the passion and we love it personally but what we want to hear from you guys is your experiences we yes. want to hear we want to hear what <clears throat> you think what i really we don't want to hear honestly hold on we don't want to mm -hmm. hear your 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 predictions and who's gonna win and here we want to we want to get to know your feelings. We want to know so who you are. Yeah. What are your feelings about the sport, about this this topic? So when when you comment, share us some of the feelings because yeah, we'd we, love, to hear, we'd love to hear that and highlight that. And and as we develop this this podcast, we want to involve more and more of that and, and and you know get to know you guys. So anyways, and and I gotta say we've been getting so many really cool interactions. Um, can we do shout outs real quick before we wrap up? Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, un saludo especial a Andy Costabel, my friend Andy Costabel. We used to play soccer together in Washington State back in the day. He's an amazing soccer player. He moved to North Carolina. Te quiero mucho, loco. Saludos. You sent us a message on, on, on Instagram. He's from River Plate. Ugh. Whatever. He commented on that. Grande gallina. Uh, but anyway, it was good to hear from him. It was great. And uh, <laughs> it's just good to see that people are interacting, they're enjoying our videos. This is why we do this. Yep. We're not doing it for like, you know, fame or whatever. We're just enjoying interacting with people. And we're, we promise we're going to send the t-shirts out. <laughs> we're working on that. We're getting well, the all the t-shirts are coming out this week. This, this week. week you're, you're pase pase. And should we do a, for whoever like finished this episode, if you're still there, we should give them something. Comment how something. Do, how do we control that? No, because we? we'll tell them to write something on our, <clears> on our feed. Okay. Write something. Yeah. Well, what do they have to write? They have to write muchachos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. If you watched the first 18 minutes of... Uh, no, no, the, no. They don't all know that. And then you kept going. Just uh, We'll do the honor system. An honor system. And then you kept going all the way through this episode of uh, Home for the Vantage, episode eight. You type muchachos in the in the heading. We're going to get like 50 muchachos. No, so we're going to do we're gonna do the first five. The first five. The first five people to comment muchachos. Muchachos. In Instagram or YouTube or something. Whichever. Or TikTok or whatever. We're going to share it everywhere. Everywhere. If you comment. Uh, say it again. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk of that mate, bro? Maybe. 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 Oh, it's it's, it's, it's fermented, bro. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you.